Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Storytime with Grandma Kate. Today, we're going to enjoy another Kevin Henkes book called Sheila Ray the Brave. This is a story about a brave little mouse who isn't afraid of anything. Well, almost anything. Something will happen in her in our book today that she's going to have to rediscover her courage. So if you enjoy this channel, please click subscribe below. And I'll also include a link to not only this book at the local library, but uh, I'll include my email address. So if you have any book suggestions, you can send them my way. And I would be happy to see if I could find them in my library or a local library and share them with you on our channel. So let's go ahead and dive into Sheila Ray the Brave by Kevin Henkes. Turn the camera a little bit so you can see it. So nice to be back here on the back porch again now that spring is here. This is called Sheila Ray the Brave. Sheila Ray wasn't afraid of anything. She wasn't afraid of the dark. She wasn't afraid of thunder and lightning. And she wasn't afraid of the big black dog at the end of the street. Her little sister is saying, are, are you a sleeping Sheila Ray? I think her little sister might be afraid of, of the dark and thunder and lightning and the dog down the street. At dinner, Sheila Ray made believe that the cherries in her fruit cocktail were the eyes of dead bears and she ate five of them. At school, Sheila Ray giggled when the principal walked by. And when her classmate Wendell stole her jump rope during recess, Sheila Ray tied him up until the bell rang. I am very brave, said Sheila Ray, patting herself on the back. I well, thought I would tie up a little boy to the fence, but she's pretty tough, isn't she? Sheila Ray stepped on every crack in the sidewalk without fear. And when her sister Louise said there was a monster in the closet, Sheila Ray attacked it. And she rode her bicycle no handed with her eyes closed. Yay, yay, Sheila Ray, her friends yelled, clapping their hands. Dangerous. I'm gonna go for a bike ride later today, but I'm not gonna do that. I don't know if that's brave or just not very smart. We'll see what happens next. One day, Sheila Ray decided to walk home from school a new way. Louise was, a, was afraid to. You're too brave for me, Louise said. You're always such a scaredy cat, Sheila Ray called. I, I am not, whispered Louise. Sheila Ray started off skipping. I am brave, she sang. I am fearless. She stepped on every crack. She walked backwards with her eyes closed. And what is somebody's following her? Is her sister Louise following her? She growled at stray dogs and she bared her teeth at stray cats. And she pretended that the trees were evil creatures. She climbed up them and broke their fingers off. Snap, snap, snap. Poor trees. Sheila Ray walked and walked. She turned corners, she crossed streets. And suddenly it occurred to Sheila Ray that nothing looked familiar. I mean, she doesn't know where she is. Uh-oh. Sheila Ray heard frightening noises. They sounded worse than thunder. She thought horrible thoughts. They were worse than anything she had ever imagined. I, I, I am brave, Sheila Ray tried to convince herself. I, I am fearless. See her little sister Louise's hair sticking up back there. The sounds became more frightening and the thoughts became more horrible. Sheila Ray sat down on a rock and cried. Help, she sniffed. She thought of her mother and father and Louise. Mother, father, Louise, she cried. Louise is right there. Here I am, 
a voice sang. Louise, Sheila Ray hugged her sister. We're lost, Sheila Ray said. No, we're not, said Louise. I know the way home. Follow me. Louise stepped on every crack. She walked backwards with her eyes closed. She growled at stray dogs and bared her teeth at stray cats. And she pretended that the trees were evil creatures and she jumped up and broke their fingers off. Snap, snap, snap. Sheila Ray walked quietly behind her. They walked and walked. They crossed streets. They turned corners. And soon their house could be seen between the trees. Sheila Ray grabbed Louise and dashed up the street. When they reached their own yard and the gate was closed behind them, Sheila Ray said, Louise, you are brave. You are fearless. We both are, said Louise. And they walked backwards into the house with their eyes closed. I think some ways we're all brave and we're all fearless. I don't know if we're brave and fearless all the time. Sheila Ray kind of learned that, didn't she? But then Louise had a turn to be brave and to be fearless. There's some things I'm afraid of and some things I'm not. How about you? Might want to talk about that with mom and dad today to see the ways in which you're brave and the ways in which you may not be so brave and need help. But anyway, have a wonderful day, everybody. And I'll join you at our next story time.